Alrighty guys, so welcome to part two of the tutorial series. In the last video, we spoke a little bit about where to get your API keys. And um, by the way, if you're too lazy to go and get your API keys and it's too much of a clunky experience for you, you could always just go on gptbud.com. We'll probably change the URL, but this is uh, pretty much a web app, which, uh, which is currently hosting the full stack experience. And you can go into your preferences and choose your report type, multi-agents, detail, dot, 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 your report source, the internet, my documents, or hybrid, which is both, and the tone of the report that you'd like to create. And you can set that and just pretty much run, run whatever you'd like. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But if you do go with the option of hosting your own app, um, you can go into your API keys section over here and you can go into your API uh, keys tab right? So platform.openai.com slash API keys, you're going to need to, you can create a new secret key and it will ask you to uh, upload your credit card information and uh, that, kind, that kind of thing. You can put a little bit of cash into it, maybe five bucks, uh, something like that. And that will allow you to kind of run it on your local machine and get your API key that you're going to put into your ENV file, like we spoke about in the last chapter. So, uh, in this one, I'd like to go a little bit deeper into the documentation here. And I want to talk to you a little bit about the LLMs and how to configure a custom LLM. So you're going to go into uh, pip package, no, one sec, front end, tailored research, configure LLM. Okay. By the way, if you have issues, we do have a testing your LLM function and we do have a testing your retriever function. So a lot of times, uh, some of the issues uh, will you'll be able to debug them by using one of those two functions. If you go into the project itself, into the test folder, you're also going to have those two test functions as well. So you've got your test open AI LLM and test your retriever functions there, and you can run those test functions directly via the CLI. So here we go. We're going to go into the back into the documentation to testing your LLM. Uh, sorry, configuring LLM. And this shows you that you can actually use OpenAI, any custom LLM, Azure OpenAI, Olama, which is actually a full library of LLMs. So we, if we click into the running with Olama doc, you'll see that there's actually this whole library of, of people coming out with, with models that are on this Olama, right, open source marketplace. And if you're running Olama, you'll be able to kind of download download a model uh, via Olama, and this will give you uh, the the ENV variable. So these are all uh, you all models that are supported by GPTR, just huge and very very highly configurable. The beauty of this is that it's all configurable via environment variables. So like we spoke about in the last video you've got these two API keys that you're setting, right? Kavili and OpenAI, but uh, you can also uh, set any one of these. So let's say, for example, you want to go with Anthropic. Let's look at the API keys a little bit closer for a second here. All right. So with Anthropic, for example, you're going to set your Anthropic API key, and then you just set these three variables and you're pretty much done. All right. If you want to go with Mistral, you're going to set your Mistral API key and these three variables, right, guys? So that's all available for you guys here in the configure LLM section. So very, very powerful. And it's one of the beauties of the project, just how it's very, 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 very configurable. So that's awesome. And it's the same thing for your retriever as well. Like we said, the retriever is this part of the flow, right? Everything is kind of surrounded by LLM powered, powered uh, functions. But you do have this one section here where you have a, a web search uh, tool that you you provide to your your agent, and and that web search tool that the agent uses is going to be power is going to be set by whatever ENV variables you set uh, within Retriever. So again, you're going to go into search engine slash Retrievers in the docs, and if you want to set it to to Bing, you're going to do Retriever Bing. And that's pretty much all there is to it, guys.